But what we can talk about is Adam Gase. Oh my gosh. Adam Gase. If you guys are a regular listener of Time to Football, you know that I, I only talk about positivity. I try to be positive as much as I can. Okay, while other sportscasters or upcoming analysts or podcasters try to be negative and try to get that hot take, try to be the new Stephen A. Smith and yell into a microphone and, and, and just say profanity and all this nonsense and being stupid and just spitting out negativity after negativity about players and criticizing them and it's just awful. It's it's horrendous. It's just toxic. They try to make a name for themselves. I instead try to flip the script and be positive. Okay, I try to be a person that players can trust, a, a person that uh, a lot of fans like to see, a, a refreshing uh, breath of fresh air for you guys that, that are positive. That's what I try to do. So I'm not going to criticize or, or, or talk negative about any player. Instead, I try to focus my absolute best on the positives. But the duration of the show, the only person and the one and only person that I have been negative about is Adam Gase. And that's because I cannot find a single positive. You want to talk about a positive about Adam Gase? Okay. He did well with Peyton Manning as the offensive corner for the Chicago Bears. That's it. Other than that, as a head coach, I can't think of a single positive for Adam Gase. Le'Veon Bell is going to be one in the, another one of those examples that goes on to do bigger and better things outside of the reins of Adam Gase. Okay, we have Ryan Tannehill. We have Kenyon Drake. We have Devontae Parker. We have Robbie Anderson. Why not add Le'Veon Bell to that list as well? Adam Gase, man. You you, you decide to choose Adam Gase. Your team is 0-5, the New York Jets. You know that Adam Gase is going to get fired. Everyone knows that. The fans know that. The media knows that. Within the Jets organization, they know that. They know that Adam Gase isn't going to stick around. What What's the reasoning? Why are you keeping him? Is it because you think that he's going to win 11 straight games and he's going to go 11-5 and five and you guys are going to make the playoffs and that's somehow some way going to save his job? It's not. That's not going to happen. Adam Gase should have been fired before Bill O'Brien. Should have been fired before Dan Quinn. Those guys, yeah, they it was a right move for those teams to move on from those head coaches. But when you're talking about those guys getting fired before Adam Gase, how it's week six and Adam Gase still has a job makes not, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So everybody knows, everyone and their mother knows that Adam Gase is going to go. But instead, knowing that, knowing that there was a bad relationship and a toxic relationship with Adam Gase and Le'Veon Bell dating back to 2019, when Adam Gase did not want to sign Le'Veon Bell to that big contract, did not properly properly use him in 2019, was an issue in the 2020 offseason where he took him out of first string reps because he said that his hamstring was hurt and he put in Frank Gore. I don't understand the, the man curse with Frank Gore. And then in 2020, when Le'Veon Bell returns to the starting lineup for the New York Jets against the Arizona Cardinals, only got 13 carries when Frank Gore got six, you're still not using him properly with all that relationship and all that toxic. Uh, back and forth between Adam Gase and Le'Veon Bell, and knowing that, knowing the relationship is not good, knowing that Le'Veon Bell is your best player on that team, you decide to ride with Adam Gase, and you chose him over Le'Veon Bell, a guy that's not going to be there for much longer, over your best player. Who's your best player now, Jamison Crowder? It doesn't make a lot of sense. So they, deci- they decide to keep Adam Gase, and I was... I could not fathom it. I could not fathom it. I was downstairs. Okay, it was Tuesday night. I was watching the uh, Bills-Titans game on my iPad, okay? And on the TV, my wife and I were were watching the Bachelorette, okay? I play fantasy Bachelorette because you can win a lot of money, so don't judge me. But while she was paying attention to that show and I was paying attention to the uh, the game on the uh, on the iPad, I got a notification on my phone that said that Le'Veon Bell was released by the New York Jets. At that point, 20 minutes later, my roommate came downstairs. Yes, I have a wife and I have a roommate. Okay, don't judge me. The roommate comes downstairs, big New York Jets fan. And I say, bro, did you hear about the news with the New York Jets with Le'Veon Bell? He said, what? What's up? And I said, Le'Veon Bell just got released. And his reaction, if you guys are watching the video version of this podcast, was this. For a minute straight, he just did this. Leaned his head back, hands over his face, could not believe it for a minute straight. And after that, he moved on. We didn't talk about it again. And that was the perfect reaction, I feel like, that that Jets fans 
Th- that's the only reaction at that point. And I knew exactly what was going on in his head for that one minute and was why would you choose Adam Gase over your best player in Le'Veon Bell? It doesn't make a lot of sense, but in the future for Le'Veon Bell, we do see bigger and better and brighter things happening for this once, at, at one point, the best running back in the NFL and could still get it done. I was big on Le'Veon Bell prior to the season. I really was. I thought he was going to get 900 yards. I thought he was going to get 60 receptions because he's more of a receiving back as well. I thought this was going to be a big season. For you guys that play fantasy football, that's RB2 production right there out of Le'Veon Bell. And then maybe get like five, six touchdowns total. Adam Gase ruined that. Adam Gase ruined that and I should have known. I should have known that I couldn't have trusted Adam Gase and I thought he would have learned learned his lesson But he didn't. He didn't. He didn't learn his lesson. 